everyone, it's Kevin uh, from Focused Events again, uh, and I'm down still in Spain. I've got another BMW that we brought down here with us. This is the F850 GSA, and the reason I brought it was because um, it's a bit like the XR that we tested as well. The minute it got delivered to us, I, I looked at it, wow, look at that, it's absolutely stunning. Part of the reason it's stunning, of course, is because this is the uh, anniversary model. It's a celebration of 40 years of GS. So when I had a look through the specification and having not been a regular rider of the uh, F850 at all, actually, although I've always liked the GS model, the front has got a really strong, imposing look. Yes, it's got the spotlights either side, and now it's got this LED lights on it as well. The indicators are LED, and then we have this silver side and the crash bars, which again makes it really look like a, an impressive um, bike on the road with lots of purpose. And that's what I like about it. That's what I like about all the GSAs. They've got that purpose about them, um, and I really enjoyed riding them. Now, the thing about it was, and I just had to check back, and I did another little bit of uh, reading up, so I decided to actually have a look back, 40 years of R or GS models. So I went back and I had a look at an R100 GS replica from 1989 to 1990. Horsepower at that time, 60 horsepower from that 1000cc flat twin. 56 pounds, foot pounds of torque from that flat twin. This 850 is 90 horsepower, parallel twin. 90 horsepower, so that's another 30 horsepower, so that's 50% on the original, and 63 foot-pounds of torque. Oh, cruise control, let's not forget that, let's not forget adjustable suspension, uh, dynamic mode, enduro pro mode, enduro mode, it's got it all, it's a really great bike. So um, later on now in this video, we'll see uh, what it's like to ride on the road, and also, I'm going to take it where it should go really out there in the desert we're gonna give it a spin oh yes see you later well good morning everybody here we are the new BMW F850 GSA what does this bike feel like to ride well the first thing that, you know when you, when you do walk towards the bike it looks absolutely fantastic I love the the, the styling that replicates, you know, the fact that it is an anniversary bike. And, and it's got lots of little touches on it like that, but it's the black and yellow that really stands out. It's got um, those yellow wheels, spoked wheels on it. The yellow hand guards that I'm looking at now. Uh, really, really wonderful. And of course, it's got the, the TFT dash there. And lots of options here on my left hand side. I can adjust the suspension as I'm riding. I like to keep things in dynamic. And then I've got various other options as well where I can look down at my vehicle. You can see that happening there. And that's just giving me various other options. But you get a lot more options when you are static and not riding. So you've got the navigation option in there. You've got media. And you've got your telephone settings, but you can't adjust those unless you're actually uh, static with a bike, which is of course a safety feature and a good one at that. So, what attracted me to this, the GSA 850, and I do like big engines, is, to be honest, was the look of it first. I thought, wow, look at that, it looks so good. And of course, Today, when you talk about 850s and twins, the technology and the power of the engines and the torque, it just continues to move forward. It, it's just brilliant. So you've got an 850 today, and it feels like, almost like a big thousand twin, maybe 15 years ago. It's absolutely masses of power, plenty of delivery, nice, a fuel injection as always with these BMWs. There's no glitches, they feel pretty good. Here you go, sixth gear. 
60 miles an hour and I can crack open that throttle in six gear. Look at that, whoa! No problem. Look at that view, how lovely is that? Check that out, and we're going down it. Oh yes. Even the sat down's going wiggly. The suspension feels really, really good. Uh, with the, in dynamic mode, it's working really well for me. I can feel it as I get into the brakes. I've got a really nice feel of the tyre of what it's doing. This bay that we're coming into right now was actually the scene in Lawrence of Arabia after they'd gone across the desert for 30 days to Aqaba. There it is. That is the skyline right there for Aqaba. So as I ride this bike, the obvious question is what does it compare with punch-wise to the 1250 GSA, which I've been using for a number of years now. It's close. Let's be honest. We know that the 1250 is going to be faster than this bike. Of course it is. It's got 400 cc on it and uh, quite a different configuration of the engine. But if you go and use these bikes on a daily basis, you're not going to be riding around doing 120 mile an hour all day long. This engine is, is really, really good. It's very, very strong. And when you open the throttle, and that's what I'm going to do now in a minute and sit in gear, I have no problem with confidence. There you go. It's good for overtakes. I don't have to drop gears. It's got loads of power and torque. Power and torque. So, let's give it a quick run down the motorway. What does it feel like on there? And I'm sure that screen is going to work really, really nicely. Straight away. We're just up to a very comfortable 80 miles an hour. Perfect, lovely, comfortable sitting position. I've got cruise control if I want it. I've also got my menu here to give me other information whilst I'm riding. And of course I've got my BMW sat nav. Uh, sitting right here in front of me. So, yeah, it's a really nice place to be right now. Just comfortable and cruising and enjoying the view. And this bike is not feeling stressed, that's the thing with this 850. If you are considering the 1250 or the 850 and you're not sure because of the size of the 1250, because let's be honest about it, you know, the 1250 is a big bike but you still want that look. This is just as good a place to be. And if you go for the anniversary model, you get something that looks even nicer. Mirrors work good. There's no problems there at all. There's no vibes either, that's the other thing. There's nothing coming through the handlebars, no tingling, just perfect. Of course, here on my right as well, if it was a colder morning, I could have my heating grips on, come and stand on these bikes. I think as I pull off the motorway, if I had one criticism for this bike over the 1250, it's probably that the wind protection from that screen is not as efficient as the 1250 GSA, but I'm sure there'll be aftermarket parts or bigger screens 
available. It's just, I just feel the, a little bit more. There's something lacking a little bit here with the 1250 GSA. You're just getting a, a, bit, a bit more. I would say probably another 25% of uh, wind protection, but it's the only criticism I'd have. Everything else feels really, really nice. Blue sky, lovely corners, no cars, no trucks. No tractors. Perfect temperature. And actually a great motorcycle to complement it all. <laughs> I'm very, very lucky this morning. Feels really good in the corners. Very plant. I'm getting I'm still getting used to it. You know, I've only been riding it since yesterday afternoon, so I've done 70 miles, so you get into these sort of corners with it. If you want to feel the bike a little bit more, see what it's going to give you back as feedback. It feels really good. Loads of confidence, it's firing feel from the, from the chassis. And it switches left to right really, really nicely. It's not a big effort to haul it down on the bar. The fuel injection delivery on the power is instant when I feed it in. Well, I've been riding the bike on the road and it's absolutely fantastic, but let's not forget, this is an adventure bike. So I've just selected my mode. I'm now in enduro mode. It's time to see what it's like off road. absolutely fantastic this bike is equally capable uh, off-road of course it's not an enduro bike it's an adventure bike but nevertheless it does mean that we can get out there and enjoy this fantastic place that we're riding the bike in so now I go back into road mode yeah uh, that's it I'm ready <laughs> to everybody we're back in the UK now even though I'm wearing the short sleeves I can tell you it is cold outside it's dark it's raining I can't wait to get back to Spain more about that at the end of this little note just to talk about the bike I had a fantastic two days on this bike I really really enjoyed it on the road even when I took it out into the desert onto the trails yes of course you know a big heavy bike like this I wasn't going to try anything technical with it too technical anyway but I enjoyed it and I like the fact that it can give you that opportunity to do something different and when the terrain changes this bike is saying no 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 let's continue with it talking a little bit more about the engine for sure at my age i come from a time when i was thinking that twins parallel twins no they're not going to deliver the sort of power that i want but that's changed it's really changed 
Going back to Yamaha, when they brought out the MT-07 and I rode that bike for the first time around four years ago, I was really shocked at the power that these bikes and engines can deliver today from those parallel twin engines. This 850 is just like that. If you're in the market for an adventure bike, you should definitely get yourself on one of these. Yes, ride the 1250, but of course there are other marks out there that you might want to try, but this is great. Uh, there's nothing that is wanting in this at all, as far as I'm concerned. So, thank you BMW. Oh, and if I was gonna buy one, this is the one I'd have. I'd have the anniversary one, because at the end of the day, you wanna feel special when you ride anything today. Uh, out there, you want to buy something that makes you feel good about yourself, and it does. It just looks really great, and it's and it's going to hold its money a little bit better. But yeah, thanks to BMW UK uh, once again for lending you this bike, and thank you for watching. And I'm going to be going back to Spain in a couple of days' time with focused events. Another great uh, bunch of customers joining us down at Almeria, and I'm bringing down the R18 Cruiser. And we'll be doing a little story about that bike as well. So I um, haven't got enough tattoos maybe, but we'll try and fix that. Watch the next video. So thank you again for watching.